Hi everybody, Andrew here, or as I'm calling my channel, uh, VSG Spike, with a new update regarding my progress with um, the upcoming vertical sleeve uh, gastrectomy surgery that I'm having. Um, the big thing since my last update, um, no decision yet. I'm still playing the waiting game, and it's still driving me nuts. Um, I called at the end of this week to just ask for, find out an update. And they gave me a number for a group that they, I guess they, my insurance goes through to actually, you know, um, look at all of my, you know, um, tests and then they make a decision from there. So I actually got a number from them. They said I may have a decision as of this past Friday, um, but no, no decision yet. So I have a number. And I can't leave well enough alone. I'm probably going to call them. I'm not going to call them tomorrow. Um, I'll give them till Tuesday. <laughs> but it is driving me nuts. Uh, and you know, it's going to until I have a decision. Um, everyone that I talk to that is aware of my surgery, they're completely um, positive that I'll have an approval. And it's not that I don't doubt that I'll have an approval. What, my thing is that a decision needs to be made, and a decision on it hasn't been made yet. So I guess that's what's bugging me more than anything, because I, I, I'm confident that I'll have it approved by insurance as well. Uh, just it needs to be approved. So that's kind of what's on my mind um, as well. Now another thing that I had mentioned throughout a lot of my videos was that, and I mentioned it uh, a bit last time, was that I wasn't telling a lot of my um, family, more specifically my dad. Um, not because he wouldn't be supportive of it, but because, you know, he and the rest of my side of the family lives about 500 miles away from where we are here in uh, Northern Virginia. But um, I was, you know, he's not, I, just, I never thought he wouldn't, he wouldn't be supportive it's just that I wanted to kind of surprise him because we don't see we don't we're not able to visit nearly as often especially with this upcoming because I've been saving a lot of my leave for um, recovery of course so we were already planning to go back at uh, Christmas time and it was going to be kind of a big surprise then um, talking with my wife talking with uh, my grandmother who was one of the two family members of mine that knew about this since day one uh, as well as my wife's, you know, I guess I should say my father-in-law. Um, especially my father-in-law and my wife, Ryan, they, you know, the big thing to them was that, especially given the fact that I'm going under major surgery and him not aware of it, you know, I was told that, you know, my father-in-law said if the roles were reversed and if my wife were to be the one going under and he weren't, he wouldn't have been aware of it, he would have been pretty pissed off about it. And I didn't really think about it in that way, which made sense. So um, another thing yesterday um, was my birthday. Um, just so you're around 32. I feel older than that, but I think that's a lot has to do with my weight. Um, so last night I was talking with my dad, and I decided that I would tell him. So I told him, um, you know, told him I've been planning this since... You know, really, I've been thinking about it for years, but really getting in the planning stages in January. So he was very supportive of it. Um, and he was very, I guess the, 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 the talk, the discussion was pretty, I want to say anticlimactic. Um, we didn't, I mean, it was very, you know, I, I can understand that he was, it sounded like he, uh, you know, surprised by it, and rightfully so. But he was very supportive of it. Um, he could tell that, you know, I knew what I was talking about. I've done a lot of research about this, um, so I know what it takes, and I know what I'm expected to do afterwards. So, he he had my full support, which was great, um, or I should say, I had his full support in this matter. Um, so that was nice. I, I have a feeling that we're going to discuss this a bit more over the next few weeks, especially once the decision's made and we have a scheduled date. Um, you know, there's a good chance he may come down and visit and may want to be here you know, as the surgery's going on. So, you know, it's good to at least tell him now, give him that opportunity, because it could be, 
you know, month and a half out until the surgery takes place, so it's enough time to plan. Um, another thing with the decision, one I know on the day that I had all of my appointments, the one I was most worried about was the one in the morning was my psychological evaluation. Um, I did get a copy of the report um, in the mail this week that was sent to my surgical group and then in turn obviously sent to insurance. Because um, I was very curious how it would be worded and what she would say. Because it, it was different. I wasn't, I wasn't sure what to expect with that evaluation. And the questions that she had asked were, you know, it made, made me had to think a lot, which uh, I don't blame her. Um, but it was a good review. You know, the report was really nice. You know, she gave a lot of my background from what we had discussed, which is fine. Um, but she did at the end, you know, she said, yeah, I was, you know, fully aware of what to expect, uh, fully aware of the risks and requirements, um, and that I would be a good candidate for the surgery. So, of everything I was most worried about that may have an effect on my insurance decision was really that, and that was a positive. So, um, like I said, my blood work was great. Just a couple things that, you know, were a little low, but nothing, um, nothing detrimental. Um, chest x-ray and the um, uh, abdominal ultrasound were fine. So everything else really was, was, you know, was good. As good as can be for somebody who's my, my size. Um, and that's another thing. I know I had, I know with a lot of the people that I've talked to, you know, there's a Facebook group that I'm with, I, I um, have joined. There's a group on Reddit that I've joined. Um, and um, obviously people here on YouTube that I've been following and watching. Um, I know a lot of people, and most people do talk about, you know, what, what, what weight they are, what weight, what size they are, what they've started off with. And I, I know I have, it's not something that I've said myself just yet. And it's not that I'm avoiding it. What I want, I, once I have the surgery, um... You know, I'm going to start, obviously, I've been recording my weight, but I, I, I don't know if, I guess it's a level of personal comfort that, you know, maybe once the surgery takes place, you know, and the big changes, you know, hopefully come as they should, then, you know, I guess I'll be more inclined to disclose more and, and then really talk about the differences. So, um, you know, not that I'm hiding from it or trying to avoid it, it's just that they, um, personal preference, um, and as well, a couple things I know I need to do, um, with, uh, my wife's help, I want to do some, you know, profile, you know, front pictures, side pictures, you know, probably some video as well, just to have, um, do that now as a comparison down the road, because I'm sure I, I will want those, um, going forward. So, I mean, all in all, like I said, very, as far as, you know, my progress, you know, requirement-wise and everything has been quiet this week. Um, a lot of it's been more internal, which is still a big deal, and I mean, it was still very necessary. I do feel better, a little better that, you know, I did tell my dad. Um, I'm still keeping it pretty quiet personally on Facebook, um, but I have a feeling in time, you know, my dad was really the big one that I was trying, that I was, um, you know, kind of keeping it quiet from. Um, and I kept it on, kept it quiet on Facebook just because I knew, you know, I have, you know, family members or friends who would be able to get back to him and, and let him know that on Facebook. So, you know, I, I'm sure in due time I'll tell more people about it. But, I mean, it's really up to me to decide when I want to do that, how I want to do that. And, um, you know, I'm comfortable with what I've been doing so far with, you know, telling, you know, you, telling the people on YouTube and friends that, you know, this is what I'm doing. I mean, I've had plenty of support from everybody. Um, it's been great really getting to know more people. And, you know, two people um, in my Facebook group have uh, um, had their surgeries this past week. So it's been really cool to really see what... Uh, what they're going through, you know, how they're feeling, and they've been, um, you know, they've, they've been pretty open with, you know, what kind of pains that they're feeling, what kind of, you know, discomforts, and what their experiences are, what they've been able to drink, what they've been able to eat, 
Um, so it's been it's been really cool to see that. So it gives me an even better idea on what to expect um, coming up. So hopefully sometime this week um, I would have a decision. Um, if I don't have a decision by the end of the week, I'm going to go mad. <laughs> Just, you know, ugh, it's driving me nuts. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm anxious. Um, just a, a lot of everything. And um, I'm more than ever ready to, ha to take this step and get this, get this, you know, chapter, you know, really started because, you know, I, you know, I guess if I'm looking at it in in the terms of like chapters, I mean this would really be the start of a, a new chapter for me that hopefully you know ends on a good note. Um, you know, one thing that my dad did mention, which I mean is always a big factor, is you know my uh, my daughter. I have a two and a half year old, and she is she's my world. I mean, I you know I love my wife more than anything in the world, but. There, there's something that that love that I have for my daughter, when I see her and when you know we play and you know we just have so much fun together. When we have those interactions, there is nothing like that. It is just it is something else that I you know had never experienced before, and it was you know knowing that I'm doing this for me as much as I'm doing it for my wife and as much as I'm doing it for her. Or you know. I want to be healthy for myself so that then I can also be around more for them. Um, you know, and that's what this is about. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, I want to be healthy so that I can do the things that I want to do, which in turn so I can do more things that I, you know, can do for them. So I'm, you know, I'm very, very excited on this, taking this next chapter, you know, learning more from you and everybody that, you know, everybody that I've interacted with, I've learned something different. So it's been, it's been nothing but a positive experience so far. And, you know, I, I can't say enough of all the people that I've, you know, watched and all the stories that I've read, you know, all the support that I've had. Um, it, it's been tremendous. And, it does mean a lot because, you know, this is something that I, I don't know anybody, you know, is ex is looking forward to and, you know, has, you know, has, you know, you know they, they're looking forward and wanting, you know, this, this kind of procedure. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, looking forward to this in a, in the sense that I'm looking forward to what it will, what opportunities it will allow me after the fact. Um, have I, you know, do I want this surgery? If I, if I could go without the surgery, I would in a heartbeat. You know, I've tried so much, so many ways, and I, you know, I don't see this procedure as, you know, the get out of jail free card, the cheat, you know, there's so many things that I've, I've seen or heard people say that, you know, they, that's what they feel this procedure does. And that's not it at all. Um, you know, for anybody who's had the procedure, you know, you know, you, you, it's not something that you want. I don't see this as I do this and then fuck, I don't have to do anything. I, I, I do the procedure and then everything else gets taken care of afterwards. That's not the case. I know there's going to be a lot that I'm going to have to be relearning and I've already learned that I need to change about my habits and myself. Um, I'm going to, you know, go through a lot of changes and it's only going to progress if I allow it, if I have the right attitude, if I um, approach it the right way, you know, because I, I have seen a lot of stories of people 
where, you know, they've had different bariatric procedures and bounced back. You know, that's, that's a lot for me. It's been a lot of planning. It's been a lot of thought. It's been a lot of tests. It's been a lot of classes. It's been a lot of work to, to sorry, to fuck it up. I, I, I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. I have so much to look forward to and so much more that I can do for myself. It's too worth it to mess up. So. <sighs> A little deep. <laughs> so, those are my two cents about that. But, um, kind of bringing it back, I, uh, I am very appreciative of everyone's support that I, that you know anybody that I've talked to and told about this it's been nothing but a positive experience so for that I'm very grateful because I know that's not always the case for some people so um, I will likely have another update next weekend if not sooner you know I, you know once I get my decision I know it's going to be a completely different emotional roller coaster um, then it's going to be the planning, you know, all right, the, the next, the big next step, you know, scheduling, getting the, you know, the final two week food preparation down, you know, all sorts of, you know, details and additional meetings that I'm going to have to do. So I'm, I'm ready for it. And, um, we're getting really close. Like I said, ideally I'm still looking at September 23rd pending the approval and, as long as scheduling is where it needs to be. That is my goal date. And uh, if that is the case, and like I said, we're looking at a solid month and a half right now. So. Uh, but it's been a, it's, it's, it's weighed on me a lot this week. Even more so than, than recent weeks. It's, it's just a lot. On top of, there's, there's been other things, but this has been a really big one for me personally because it's going to be a big change so uh, well I look forward to uh, more updates here you guys have a uh, great week and uh, talk to you guys very soon take it easy